Hi and welcome back to the AQA GCSE History Elizabeth I Vision Series. This is episode 16, which will be the last episode of this series learning about the course's content. But for now, we're looking at the end of Elizabeth's reign. The makeup of Elizabeth's Privy Council changed towards the end of her reign. Several of her key ministers, including Christopher Hatton and Francis Walshingham, died around 1590. William Cecil died in 1598 and was succeeded by his son, Robert Cecil. In 1593, Elizabeth made Robert Devereux, Earl of Essex, a member of the Privy Council. Essex led to the growth of two conflicting groups in court, one around the Earl of Essex and the other around William and Robert Cecil. Essex was the stepson of Elizabeth's earlier favourite, Robert Dudley. He came to court in 1584 and quickly became a favourite himself. He was extremely ambitious for military success and could be arrogant and disrespectful even towards the Queen. The two groups were constantly competing for royal patronage and influence. They also disagreed over important matters, especially strategy in the war with Spain. Elizabeth's inability to control this conflict undermined her authority. In 1599, Elizabeth sent Essex to Ireland to head a huge army. His task was to crush Tyrone's Rebellion, which was also known as the Nine Year War. It had been going on since 1594. Essex had made some limited attempts to fight the rebels, but when these were unsuccessful, he made a truce with them. He then abandoned his post and returned to England without the Queen's permission. As a punishment, Elizabeth put Essex under house arrest, banished him from court and cut away all of his public offices. In November 1600, she also took away his main source of income, a monopoly on the distribution of sweet wines. The loss of his political power and his income drove Essex to revolt. On the 8th of February 1601, he launched a rebellion in London. Essex aimed to seize the Queen and force her to replace her closest advisers, especially Cecil, with himself and his followers. Essex's rebellion failed within just a few hours. He received no support from ordinary Londoners and most of his own supporters quickly abandoned him too. Essex was arrested, tried for treason and executed on the 25th of February 1601. Lack of popular support for Essex's rebellion showed that it wasn't a serious threat to Elizabeth's rule. She was still a popular and respected queen and she had no desire to overthrow her or her government. However, the rebellion does suggest that Elizabeth's authority over her court became weaker towards the end of her reign. By the 1590s she was no longer using patronage as effectively as she had in the past. Instead of balancing the different groups at court, she let the Cecils become too powerful, while failing to promote many others. This led to a build-up of anger and resentment which risked fueling challenges to her authority, like the Essex Revolt. This conflict in court in the 1590s also made Elizabeth's government less effective. Constant competition and infighting between groups made it more difficult to make decisions and get things done. That's the end of episode 16 and we've now finished the entire course of the AQA GCSE History Elizabeth I Revision Series. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed.